Hello again, um, YouTube friends, subscribers, and uh, viewers. Okay, this, uh, as I stated in my prior video, that I'm going to talk about some HRT updates for me and uh, what's going on with me physically and my new physician, Dr. Ken Fisher. Don't forget it. If you guys are looking for a doctor and you're in this area, go see Dr. Ken Fisher. You could not find a friendlier, trans-friendly doctor. He's here in Phoenix, and his doors are open to us. So get in there, girls and boys. <laughs> so <clears throat> here it goes. Um, I'll talk briefly about my prior hormone therapy. Um, I liked my doctor, my endocrinologist. She's still my doctor, but I'm not going to go see her anymore. I don't need to. I have a new doctor. Who's her replacement. Um, she wouldn't help me out uh, when I requested over and over again that I wanted to change my regimen. I wanted to start my regimen this way and uh, then I wanted to change it as I wasn't experiencing real negative um, repercussions from starting HRT and she resisted my request. So I moved around uh, talking to other doctors and searching for ways without, um, you know, going with um, self-administering my own hormone therapy. And this, I mean, self-administering is fine, but self-prescribing and self-medicating is not a good idea without the advice of your doctor. So, please, girl, go see Dr. Ken Fisher or someone like him. All right. So, anyway, my uh, I don't want to say or put it out there that oral regimens are no good. They are. They're fine. Um, I just wanted more, and everything, the materials I've read, and the researching I've done, the people I've um, observed and consulted with and conversed with in regard to therapy programs and results and what works for them and what didn't or what they expected from what it was they were doing, I knew I wanted to do this, and I knew it from the get-go. And my doctor, Dr. Ken Fisher, <laughs> has solidified this. Um, first of all, I, I was looking and frustrated trying to find doctors. They're all very expensive. Um, my insurance does not cover most of these doctors or the doctors that know you're coming in for hormone replacement therapy because you're transgender, they just don't even bother with your insurance. They want cash, and it's expensive. Um, Dr. Ken Fisher is covering everything he can under my insurance. I have insurance, so my office visits, some lab work, some other things will be covered. Um, some of it will not be. Uh, his facility is very trans-friendly. It ha offers lab work and electrolysis and laser treatments in-house and his, his personal attention. So, go see Dr. Ken Fisher if you're in this area. Um, what he did for me is he did not argue any, any of it. He, he supported my views and how I felt and, and gave me a, you know, he gave me a thorough examination as far as mental. We talked. He's going to physically examine me in the future. Uh, he pulled some blood and is going to do his own blood work and and get up to stuff on where I am exactly. But um, <clears throat> just talking to me, he understands where I am and prescribed me intramuscular hormone replacement therapy with gel estrogen. Okay, so I'm on that, uh, what is it? Uh, one milliliter uh, injections every two weeks for starters. At, um, uh, I get the 20 milligram while it's here. Uh, 20 milligram uh, strength. And the challenges I faced after being approved and written my prescription are what I want to talk about here. Um, I've already plugged the doctor and I'm really, and you guys all know I'm excited about moving forward with my regimen. 
So that day I went to the pharmacy where I always go, Walmart, <laughs> and gave them my prescriptions. Oh, we can't fill this, 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 and this. You know, they weren't going to fill it. They said they didn't have it. Um, the only thing they had was the spiral, which I was already getting anyway. I said, whatever. You know, so I ran across the, across the way to Walgreens. I took my prescriptions. They were going to have to order it, but then they didn't even, you know, I was, was suspicious. So, and I wanted to fill it now. So I went over to, to uh, Walgreens, and same thing. She goes, we don't have it. We're going to have it. It's going to take us a day to get it. Um, and so I said, well, I'm just going to go look at a couple more pharmacies and see if I can find it. Sounds like, you know, I just need to do a little footwork. So off to another pharmacy, third pharmacy. And same scenario. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have it. Um, they didn't have the del estrogen and in the strength that I, I've been prescribed. They said it's an unusual strength. And the real challenge is the syringes. It's not easy or as easy as it used to be to acquire these. It can be quite challenging. You need two needle uh, points. You need two sizes. You need, for me, I need an 18 gauge to draw the solution and I need a 21 gauge for my injection. And <clears throat> the ones I did speak to, or every pharmacist I went to, not the ones, every one of them, uh, except where I finally landed on um, my doctor's um, uh, suggestion was uh, finally was um, I had to buy they come in a box of 100 okay 100 syringes and they have the needles attached okay those are the 18 gauge well once you draw the solution, you need to change the point for our 21 gauge. Well, you can't just do that on any syringe like these. <clears throat> Not like these, like the ones they're trying to sell me. I said, I need to change that so I can inject with the 21. And they said, oh, we, we don't have those. We can't get those. Those are not available. I said, you're crazy. I know they are. And <clears throat> they argued this with me every one of the pharmacies, uh, Walmart. CVS, Walgreens, and I went to two CVSs. So I went to another one, and same thing I ran into. We, they didn't have the Dell Astrogen. They didn't have the syringes and needles. They could order them. But I was going to have to order 118 gauge and 121 gauge. And these were going to be attached to syringes. So what I would be doing is discarding if you could even change the needles, which the pharmacist says, I don't think you can, and you can't that I was going to be discarding a hundred unused syringes, which was just a waste. I said, this is ridiculous. And they said, well, they don't sell them this way. And I said, you know, full of crap. So I called my doctor out of frustration the following day, because uh, now it was late at night. You know, every place was closing, and I, I struck out getting my prescription filled. So I'm going to move into part two. This is getting too long. Um, I'll pick it up with my doctor's request to a particular pharmacy. Be right back. Bye.